Okay, so I'm gonna uh, demonstrate how to make a omelet. So by doing that, you need two eggs, a separate bowl, cheese, uh, some spices, uh, parsley for the finishing touch, uh, salt and pepper, and butter. So you're able to um, make it without screwing anything up, up, I guess. So first thing you need to do is to crack two eggs into the separate bowl, and to make sure that there's no, uh, make sure that there's no shell for this. So by doing this, print as much, you won't get bad services in your restaurant or a uh, bake shop. So by doing this, pretty much you're getting started for your omelet. So I'm going to change my glass so it won't cross contaminate the seasoning. Cross contaminate is pretty much the thing that you need to uh, be looking out for so you won't be able to uh, poison your customers out of that and uh, pretty much contaminate your seasonings, which you don't right. want. So by doing this, I mean, while I'm, I'm, while I'm getting my gloves on, I can tell you that you, you can actually have omelets for, uh, in different restaurants, like Denny's, Applebee's, uh, Golden Corral, any type of restaurant that has omelets. So grab a pinch of the fusion seasoning, which has garlic powder, oregano, basil, and paprika. So, grab a pinch of this. Sprinkle it on there. If you want to do a little bit more extra, you can. Just to make sure. There we go. Now, put your pan on this portable uh, stove. It's a plug-in as well, so you won't have to keep going back and forth with the burner. So, grab a scoop of butter right here and put it in the pan. Now, you have to stir around the sides and bottom so the omelet won't be sticking to the walls and sticking to the floor. Because if it does that, then pretty much your omelet won't be... Uh, Pretty much good to go. So, while I'm uh, demonstrating here, uh, for the butter, it's pretty much making the wall smooth and making the bottom smooth as well. So, by doing this type of thing, you won't be able to have a imperfect omelet. So, pretty, pretty. Pretty much that you have to do this carefully without uh, screwing yourself up here. So while that is uh, melting, uh, grab your fork and just stir around in the separate bowl so your omelet would be in perfect shape plus there won't be any uh, egg whites that will be interfering 